Welcome to our show, Experts Speak. Today we have with us Dr. Deepa Jayaram. She is a renowned consultant in nephrology and transplantology. Today she will talk to us about common ailments of the kidney and associated illnesses. Doctor, tell us, what can people do to maintain the health of their kidneys and what is detrimental to kidney health? In terms of, I look at it as uh, seven or eight golden rules that one needs to follow um, to try and keep your kidneys healthy. The first thing would be to maintain a very active uh, lifestyle, keep your weight in check. The second thing would be if you are a, a patient with high blood pressure, then your blood pressure has to be under good control, either through uh, dietary mechanisms or through uh, taking the medications that your doctor has prescribed. Because as your blood pressure goes out of control, your kidneys take the brunt and it leads to uh, further damage of your kidneys. Uh, in addition, if you have uh, diabetes, then your blood sugar levels should be also maintained under strict control. So patients who have diabetes and high blood pressure needs to really carefully uh, watch their sugar levels as well as control their BP. In addition, dietary factors like avoiding excessive salt in diet also plays a big role because the if you increase salt in your diet by um, automatically your uh, volume status will increase and the blood pressure increases and this will further put strain on your kidneys. So having a low salt diet in general is beneficial. Um, many a times we found that patients um, actually uh, take a lot of pain pills uh, over the counter indiscreetly uh, without uh, really having a prescription. Now this can be really detrimental especially one particular class of medicines called the NSAID which is a very uh, commonly prescribed pain medication should not be taken on a regular and uh, um, regular basis for a long period of time because this can also adversely affect your kidney function. Uh, in addition, smoking has been known to have, uh, tobacco has been known to have independent effects on the kidney function, so it is best to avoid tobacco. The most important aspect of protecting your kidneys, which I think would be screening, meaning uh, as we talked about earlier, kidney disease are fairly asymptomatic until it reaches very advanced stage when you begin to notice symptoms. So the most important thing is to screen and to detect these conditions early so that corrective measures can be taken up. Uh, so who should be screened? Uh, patients who have diabetes and, ha and uh, high blood sugar, uh, high blood sugar and high blood pressure, they need to be screened definitely. Secondly, if you have a family history of kidney problems, any genetic history, they need to be screened. Uh, if you are smoking, if you're obese, these are also some independent risk factors, so these patients need to be screened. Screening is a very simple technique where what we do is we uh, check the urine of the patient and see whether there is any leakage of protein or blood. Uh, screening for microalbumin or leakage of urine in very small minute quantities which are not detected on the urine routine uh, tests is also a very important aspect especially for patients who are known to be high blood having high blood pressure or diabetes that should be a routinely tested uh, entity and you do blood tests to look at uh, um, your serum creatinine which is a measure of the waste product that your kidney excretes out of the body um, if your creatinine levels are rising then it means that your uh, kidneys are not functioning appropriately. So doing a blood test and a urine test is a simple screening technique and in addition uh, use uh, healthy practices like uh, getting an annual physical examination, checking your blood pressures um, on a routine basis is also a very helpful technique. 